you, you referenced in the homily that this is not the end, just this being signed into law does not end this discussion, but in fact heightens the need for even greater effort on it. So where does this go from here, either through you and through the church or, or just in general? Where do you see this now going? Well, I think just in, in general, uh, the point I was uh, trying to make is that uh, uh, a word of encouragement, first of all, to those who have worked uh, very hard to try to uh, uh, defend the uh, natural uh, definition of marriage as between one man and one woman, uh, so that they don't give up. But also a message, message there, I think, for the proponents of the redefinition that I think politically speaking, um, the political approach might be, well, we had a vote, you lost the vote, so you should just be quiet. And uh, I said, I'm not looking at this as, from a political point of view, that uh, in that sense, although uh, you know, it's now legal in Illinois, and uh, I don't expect that's going to change now anytime soon, uh, my point is that that doesn't mean that uh, we're going to be silent now about our, our continued moral objections to this. Well,